1993, when Operation Hold the Line was established by uh, Congressman Silvestre Reyes. Back in the day, he was uh, the El Paso sector chief. He came with the concept of Operation Hold the Line, referring to from one day to the next, he put all available agents on the border itself. As he said, after all, we are the Border Patrol. So let's, put, let's not give them a chance to make an entry. Let's be on the border itself, make it harder for them to come in. And that concept is still true today. I mean, a lot of the sectors use it. Uh, you know, firsthand, I can tell you it does work. You know, at first, the agents didn't like it very much because we were used to running around, going all over the place. Now we're pretty much in this area trying to get control of that border. Once we do, once we establish that, then for the most part, we might not have to worry about what's in the interior because we know we already have it controlled where they're not making that entry. And that's our goal. That's our goal. With this fence, it's very easy for them to breach it, uh, very easy for them to cut, but it's just one of those things where they have, believe it or not, on the Mexican side, they have a crew that all they do is cut it. And while we have a crew on our side, and all they do is repair it. So it's just, it's a back and forth, it's never ending. Uh, and that's just kind of the life as we know it here in the border in this area. Refer to it, and you'll see right now where we have a line watch. We refer to it as line watch. It's not boredom. Uh, you're actually there to do a job. Now, while you, you know, if you're sitting in your vehicle, you're observing what's going on, not only on the Mexican side, but also on the nor northern side. Mm -hmm. And you're also keeping a, an eye on your partner next to you, east of you, west of you, wherever the case might be. So, and you're developing intel. You're trying to. Not only are you sitting there, you're, you're, you're asked to take care of an area. Well, that area is for you to patrol it, to be doing cuts. We refer to it as cuts or uh, sign cutting or dragging the road. All those terms that we use are basically all it is is we'll drag the road or smooth it out in layman's terms. And then, you know, if you're responsible for about maybe one to five miles area for that agent, you'll smooth out all that, all that road for example, on the border or right next to the fence. And as soon as you're done, you'll come back you know, every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes and figure out to see if somebody's tried to make an entry north. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds because of course, they're not gonna just walk or waltz through and leave their sign behind. They'll put boards, they'll put uh, carpet uh, pieces on their, on their shoes, they'll use hooves, animals hooves, they'll use sponges, they'll use uh, leaf blowers, uh, mops, anything to uh, uh, conceal their sign, their tracks. So you have to be very vigilant. You have to be, you have to notice everything. And this t this takes time and it takes experience. You're not going to be able to develop uh, sign tracking or tracking abilities overnight. It has to be done on a daily basis. And if you're there, as they refer to it as boredom, I mean, really, I mean, I use the term, if you're bored, you're not doing your job because you have eight to 10 hours of trying to collect this information and trying to uh, establish a pattern or try to see where these individuals are making an entry. 